Hi, sweeties. Today we are doing a head to head battle Staub versus Le Creuset, the battle of the enamel coated cast iron Dutch ovens. And we are baking bread. It is battle Dutch oven bread. I cannot wait to slice into these. But first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And now let's talk about cast iron, <laughs> Le Creuset, I'm sorry, Le Creuset, Staub, and Dutch oven baked bread. Le Creuset versus Staub, both excellent quality enamel coated cast iron Dutch ovens. And if you want to learn more about enamel coated cast iron Dutch ovens, please check out my video. I'd have dedicated to talking about all the differences and similarities, but the basics are with Le Creuset and Staub, you have um, oven safe up to 500 degrees. Both of them are oven safe. They are um, safe for all stove tops, gas, induction, electric. They are beautifully colored with an enamel coating on the outside. They come in a wide variety of colors, but on the inside is where things start to change. When you lift the lid on the Le Creuset, on the Le Creuset, it's got a light colored, sort of a sandy colored finish and a smooth texture on the lid. On the Staub, you have a black finish, a black enamel coating with a knobbly texture on the lid. And that those knobs here on the lid, the little bumps there, are said to help rain the moisture back down on your food, basting your meats or your vegetables as they are braising or stewing. But for today's purposes, we're baking. So let's make some dough. Like a band. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is just a simple bread dough recipe, bread flour, water, yeast, and salt. I got this from Zwilling.com, the Staub website, and just mixed it up. And I'll put the recipe later in the video and also in the description box. Let it rise for a bit and then shape it into two loaves. And it really could not be more simple. And the bread turned out so darn tasty. I think you are going to love this. Grab some parchment paper, spray with a little bit of oil, put our dough balls on that parchment paper. Grab a little uh, plastic wrap and cover it, or you can use a kitchen towel. Cover it up and let this proof and rise while our oven and our pots are preheating. So according to the recipe, we're supposed to bake at 475 degrees. We're almost there, but I wanted to check the temperature on our Dutch ovens. We got to about 356 on the Staub and up to 378 on the Le Creuset. So I thought that was quite interesting that the Le Creuset got hotter than the Staub. Our dough has been rising here on the counter next to the stove where it's a little warmer. Our oven is at 375. So now let's mark our loaves an L for a Le Creuset and an S for Staub and let's get to baking. All right, time to cover these up and let them bake for 30 minutes at 475 degrees. I switched them around just to make sure everything is baking evenly. And now, halfway through baking at 30 minutes, we're gonna take the covers off. And this is another 20 minutes with the covers off. So let's take a look at what we got in the Staub. It's a nice looking loaf, beautifully golden brown. The bottom did get a bit dark. So let's check our Le Creuset loaf. Gorgeous again, but a little darker and a little darker on the bottom as well. But I think the loaf from the Le Creuset got a little bit more brown. Let's look at them side by side. And yes, even though the difference is slight, the loaf baked in the Le Creuset did get a darker crust. So 
So what do you think? Let's take a closer look. This is the Le Creuset loaf. Yep, a little <laughs> I'll definitely have to change the temperature. It got darker on the bottom as well uh, than the Staub loaf did, but it got darker all overall, a, a darker, crisper crust. Now that our pans have been cooling a bit, let's check the temperature. Now on the Le Creuset, it, and the temperature is at 188, the Staub is down to 178. Le Creuset definitely holds the temperature better. Both loaves of bread are a bit too dark on the bottom. The recipe I used off the Staub website had the oven temperature to 475. I will lower the temperature to 450 next time and raise the pots up off that lower rack. Now both of these Dutch ovens cost you a pretty penny. The uh, Staub and Le Creuset run full retail between $350 and $420 for a 5.5 quart size. Look for clearance. I bought this on sale clearance um, in store at um, William Sonoma <laughs> many, many, many years ago. And they last so long. They've got a long lifetime warranty and I ended up paying about $140 for this. Um, so shop the clearance for sure to save money. For Staub, I shop Zwilling.com and look up Staub clearance. And you, you know, the choices and colors are limited anytime you're shopping clearance, but the um, prices, the savings are amazing. Also, Amazon used like new. I bought this 5.5 quart size Amazon used like new for about $200. $29 so much cheaper than full retail so look for clearance look for Amazon used like new and um, save some money so in our battle of the enamel coated cast iron Dutch ovens baking bread Staub versus Le Creuset they both did a fine job the Le Creuset got a bit hotter and it held the heat a bit longer and the loaf came out a bit browner. You can even see on the top where this Lo the, uh, Le Creuset loaf came out a little bit darker on the top, but both did a fantastic job. So if you want something that looks like it holds onto the heat longer and heats up better, Le Creuset is the winner. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to do another head-to-head -head battle, Staub versus Le Creuset. Next will be battle beef stew. Which one is going to braise the most tender, succulent beef stew? We'll find out when you come back to watch. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And y'all have a delicious day.